We've got some new developments for you tonight on that deadly parking lot crash off of Schillinger Road. We first told you about this case Wednesday when police said they believed a drunk driver slammed into a parked car, killing a Loxley woman. The manslaughter suspect stood before a judge today before his scheduled arraignment later this month. Fox News reporter Letitia Bush found out why. She's joining us in the studio with that part of the story. Letitia? Maurice White posted bond Wednesday shortly after being arrested. The state asked a judge to keep White off the road. Wednesday's crash happened off of a busy Westmobile Road. It shocked a community and killed Martha Hinton, a retired Loxley Elementary School teacher. The Mobile County District Attorney's Office wants to make sure it won't happen again. We were asking for special conditions um, to ensure the safety of the community. The judge uh, set special conditions that the defendant is not to drink at all or use controlled substances, that the defendant is obviously not to drink and drive and not to um, have any traffic violations. Um, he did not restrict the defendant from driving. Defense attorney James Bird says his client won't have a problem abiding by the judge's ruling. Maurice White is 59 years old. He has no prior arrest for any criminal conduct except for traffic tickets, none of them involving DUI or alcohol. He works two jobs. Uh, he supports his family. And for the first time, defense attorney James Byrd is revealing what he believes happened the day Hinton was killed. We regret the loss of life, but I think it was just an automobile accident that happened to a 59-year-old man who I believe had a medical emergency, seizure, blackout, something to that effect. I don't believe he was driving under the influence of alcohol. Bird admits he has not seen the result of his client's blood alcohol test. White's arraignment is set for January 22nd. We will let you know what happens. And in the meantime, funeral services have been set for the victim of that crash. Martha Hinton's funeral will be tomorrow at First Baptist Church of 